Bayern. How is it going? Hope you're having a fantastic uh, Labor Day weekend. It's nice to have an extra day to the weekend to enjoy family and friends and all that other good stuff. But hey, this is the end of our season for iRacing. Uh, wrapping up season three here. This is the absolute last race that we ran. Um, I did record it, and this is going to be a replay of that race. So uh, the season has been definitely interesting i guess and uh in a learning curve to say the least uh pretty rough at times um you know just battling back and just trying to relearn how to drive these cars uh, i really wasn't anticipating being anywhere near uh, the top three for uh championship points for the division two midwest uh, but I did check in probably about four weeks ago. I uh, ended up finding out that I was uh, third, which was a surprise to me. And then I think I ran some races and I ended up in second. And then way back in fourth. Um, so then it was really critical that I ran run these couple races here and build up them championship points again uh, just to get us back into the top three. So, yeah, we definitely did our best. Uh, this track at charlotte here uh the generated track for the officials has really been pretty bad um there's a little thin razor edge down low and up top and just whatever whatever the deal is with the setups i'm running um i haven't been able to make the decent adjustments to let the car grip up uh so definitely was quite a challenge running here uh but we ended up in a uh, small field of cars, so a small field of 10 drivers, so 10 cars and 10 stars, so that'll definitely help out the situation. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a, a close to a very major change in uh, iRacing for the sprint cars, uh, so hopefully going forward we'll, we'll do a little better and get more and more used to it. Um, I did run... Uh, M9 setups uh, for this season and them like everybody else struggle to really dial in their setups um, I don't think I won a race at all 
uh, running their setups. Uh, had a couple of top fives, a lot of top tens, but yeah, it just really wasn't the success that we had uh, in season one and season two. Uh, I think season one I ran premier racing setups and we ended up winning the championship uh, for division two Midwest. Uh, then I ran EPI setups for uh, season two and same thing. Uh, we went won the championship for uh, the Midwest division two and we almost won division two alone as well uh, so it was really huge uh, the end of season two I was really stoked going into season three um, and then kind of like the old Lucy and uh, on peanuts thing with holding the ball uh, just kind of holds it for you and you go to kick and she whips it away from you so that's pretty much sums up our season three experience so far uh, but like I said this is going to be a replay of our last race um, and I do have the chat box up, so anytime you want to throw a chat box, anything in the chat, I can talk sometimes. Uh, feel free to do so. If you want to look at some action on the track and see what happened, we can always slow it down too and uh, take some different uh, perspective views on it from the different cameras. Uh, so, yeah, anytime you want to uh, look at something or if you have any comments, man, just toss them in there and we'll get to them. So, let's get right into qualifying. Uh, let's see, and I said 10 cars, 10 cars, so we had a lot of fast guys, uh, pretty much, uh, I would say six of the 10 cars, uh, are definitely faster than I am and they have a higher safety rating and I rating as well. Maybe not safety rating, but I rating for sure. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and stop rambling on here and we'll get right into the action on the track um yeah here we go all right so winding it up and turning it loose So the only good runs I had with this setup is when you could uh, really sink it in low and get some of that grip. So that's probably better of my two laps. And that was a 12.783, and right now it says that I'm third quick. But with uh, the drivers that are present, that can definitely change by the time it's all said and done. All right, so let's find out for sure. All right, Kobe got quick time with a 12.376. Chase Whitley, second quick with a 12.527. Taylor Wineland, a third quick with a 12.677, and we were fifth quick with a 12.783. And this is going to be a very quick um, official race here, seeing that we only have 10 cars, so we're just going to be running one heat race and then getting flipped right into the feature. So just kind of waiting for uh, people to finish qualifying. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, fast forward here, get the qualifying done. All right. Take a look at the field. All right, looks like we have about four cars remaining that need to grid in for the heat race here. And if you've been with us all season, keeping tabs on our uh, progress, I appreciate you coming along for the ride and uh, keeping current, even though it's been a, a very frustrating season for us. Uh, it's definitely good to uh, have your support and definitely appreciate it. But before we get into the heat racing action, I gotta thank uh, my all-time sponsors here. Before we get started, I'd like to thank Auto Aces, 
next would be Jam Sounds DJ Service. And then um, Maverick Simulations. And last but not least, let's see if I can quick find them for you. And that is a nice looking car. Well, unfortunately, I'm drawing a blank on the last name. <laughs> I was like, oh, I always forget it, though. Probably should do a little better at uh, remembering. Aha! Uh -huh. I finally got it. Buckeye Contracting is the last sponsor. So, my apologies, uh, Buckeye Contracting, for uh, drawing a blank there briefly. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get right into uh, a heat racing action. And like you know, unfortunately, with the race replays, there is no flags or lights. So we'll do our best to be your flag man for the entirety of uh, the race here. Alright, going green, coming out of four. And I'm kind of stranded down a little lower than I want to be. And of course, <laughs> trying to get around the 66. And there you go. Every time I try to go around him, he cuts right in my way. So that was pretty awesome. Not impressed with that at all. So I think we just went from 5th uh, to 7th. And if your car's that beat up, just get off the track. I guess that's my input. If I get in a wreck or hit a wall and it's questionable on the damage, I might take a lap or and just see how the car handles. And if it's crap, I usually uh, just pull it in so you're not screwing anybody else over like we just got screwed over. So it looks like we had someone uh, coming up on us and I think they tagged our uh, tail tank. Uh, who is it? Uh, whoever the fine quality driver is in uh, this car. So I was running the same line, ran into me. I don't know if he's trying to spin me out or what, but uh, definitely not impressed with that. So Joe Abenshine, uh, I don't know, name is not familiar. So hopefully <laughs> I don't see him too much anymore, but that's pretty lame. And then he runs into me again after the uh, race is finished. So I don't know what I did to him, but I don't remember doing anything to him other than racing. All right, so fortunately we went from uh, fifth to seventh in a hurry. Yeah, I don't even know who that car was that would not get out of the way and kept cutting us off.
and I think they actually ended up disconnecting so we didn't have to worry about that anymore uh, but like always here with our race replays we're gonna go ahead and uh, get into some feature racing music if I can get it uh, loaded up here in time And one thing nice about the replays too is I can enjoy myself a little beverage. So we are enjoying a Wurst, I think it's called Wurstenstein. Wurstenstein. It's a German uh, malt type of beer, better known as a Dunkel. So it's really good. I enjoy it. it has some pretty good flavor. Alright, so I believe we are going to be going green, coming out of turn number four here. So we'll go hop right into the cockpit. We got a little work cut out for us to get back to uh, fifth. Hello. Alright, here we go. So kind of just rolling mid-track, just trying to let the cars get sorted out a little bit. So right now we lost uh, another position, so we're running in P8, I believe. It says P7 on the screen, but... That was a close call. I was hoping he would have stayed low, and then I could have got a run on him on the uh, cushion there, but... He was wise to my schemes. Although we did get him there, so I don't know if he hit the wall. I don't mind that. Gains us a uh, position. And at least the uh, racing surface was in uh, pretty good condition, so I was pretty happy to see that. Oop. So just trying some different lines just to try to get a run on this guy. Maybe the break we needed we got into the wall a little bit. Be a drag race down the front stretch. Nice slider. See if we can come back at him and throw one his way. I think we just got it too. Take away his uh, slider line. Back and fifth.
16 in. I believe that's Taylor Wineland ahead of us, so trying to track him down, but he's a strong runner, so. It seems like he's making the cushion work for him pretty good. Got a lapper getting uh, squirrely and sideways there. Yeah, we were close a couple times when uh, Taylor made a mistake, but plenty of uh, open track in front of him where he's not making many now at all. So. Trying to take off a little bit of time, getting around the turn one and two, kind of shortcutting the exit of two. Ooh, coming up on uh, one remaining. Oh my God. So yeah, definitely needed the top five here. Uh, kind of glad we were able to get it back. I'd prefer to uh, have not had a battle back, but uh, at least there weren't enough cars to clog up the racetrack, so you're able to kind of move around where you want to and try some different things. So uh, that definitely worked in our favor on this one. Uh, so I think the end of this race, we ended up in uh, second for uh, Midwest Division Two championship points. So it was a good run, definitely needed it. Uh, you know, even though it really wasn't a motivating factor for us this entire season uh, to try to get the championship uh, once I saw that we were this close. I uh, put a little pressure, more pressure on myself to uh, do a little better and uh, try to make something happen, at least get a top three if possible. So we did accomplish that. Uh, I will be getting out all the stats uh, for the season. If you're one of our sponsors, I'll get that email out to you. And uh, yeah, if you're a viewer and you're curious on uh, our stats for the season, you can go ahead and uh, drop a give me your stats email uh, to leadfootleviolet at protonmail.com and I'll uh, add you to the list. 
so I appreciate you coming along for the ride. Uh, the last race, Season 3. And once we get back to uh, Season 4 racing action in about a week or so, I think it is, uh, we're going to have to be running a reduced um, schedule. We've got a lot of things I need to get done around the house uh, that I kind of put off with trying to learn how to or relearn how to drive these sprint cars and you know just try to figure out what I need to do to make adjustments to the setup so I put a lot of things off to the side uh, so now it's time to buckle down and get them knocked out uh, but man uh, we are still gonna stream uh, it's just not gonna be as frequent and I think I am going to go ahead and uh, try a season on YouTube so if you have us on your YouTube and you have uh, notifications enabled uh, go ahead and look for us on YouTube as well so uh, kind of mainly for family to uh, be able to watch the episodes a little more uh, obviously some of my family is uh, really not all up on Twitter so <laughs> or Twitter and uh, Twitch and uh, all the other things that I, I post to uh, so Man, oh man, appreciate you coming along for the ride. Hopefully you, you enjoyed the on-track race in action and you enjoyed our whole season, uh, watching the ups and downs and all that other good stuff and struggles. Um, but I do want to, last thing I want to tell you is we are, or I should say we, uh, myself and a friend formed a 360 racing team. Uh, we are currently participating in uh, PRO uh, Racing League. Uh, some of the races are broadcast on the Dirt Racing Network, so you can go ahead and find that on Facebook or YouTube as well. So uh, usually our races are Tuesday nights. Uh, I believe we start uh, practices at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, drivers meeting at quarter to eight and then uh, qualifying at eight o'clock. So if there is a live stream uh, from the Dirt Racing Network, make sure you go ahead and uh, hit their notifications as well. Uh, they do also post other things other than sprint cars, but I'll go ahead and look for us there. And I will stop holding you up for um, uh, enjoying the rest of your day and appreciate you once again for uh, sticking with us the entire season. And we'll see you out on the track and next season as well. So until then, keep your wingtips up and your hammer down, and you'll be all right. Peace.